Okay guys, for those of you guys who just want to learn how to add a color to your hat or to change a color or if just in case you, like me, end up with um, not enough yarn and you need just a little bit more to finish your project, here's what you do. So when it comes to adding another color, this is what I do to make the transitioning of my colors um, very, very unique. So I go here, this would be my last double crochet because I was doing double crochets on this. I would go ahead and continue like I am about to do a double crochet and right before I pull in that last loop right there, I would stop and implement the next color, okay? And then when you implement the next color like this, you then take your two loose ends and pull them tight so that they can keep the same consistency and then you continue on with your new color so that way you you just transitioned it looked like you went from a double crochet in beige to a double crochet in pink i hope you guys saw that let me try again okay so i will go ahead i will go ahead and continue my double crochet like normal I'll continue my double crochet like normal, but instead of me completing my double crochet, I would let that last loop, I would add my color. So now my color means that the tail of the beginning of my color would be here and I would just pull on it to keep the consistency and then I will go ahead and start a new double crochet keeping the tail on the bridge so that I can I can go ahead and just hide that tail as I am continuing my project right you'll hide it as you continue your project this part so the more that you double crochet this part will be in there now for those of you guys who are continuing a project and you ran out of color go ahead and double crochet like you normally would and the same aspect this is the end of it it's the same same exact thing that you would do hold on i seem to have lost my end one second you would do the same exact thing you get the beginning part of your crochet yarn you would add the color having trouble holding on to it I guess because I'm nervous of this video but we all gotta start somewhere pull it why am I pulling it because I want this middle piece right here to be nice and firm and I want the piece that I'm starting to be nice and firm okay y'all and then I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna hide my my yarn by just continuing my project okay y'all and for those of you guys who made it all the way to the end of the video, please do not forget to like and subscribe and to share. Don't forget to comment and let me know if the tip that I just gave you helped you. Also, if you guys are looking for someone who can um, crochet a custom color hat for you or if you're looking for a hat, we do have our Etsy shop up with our hats in there. We also have our um, website up with our hats. If you would like to have a custom order, custom design made, custom colors made for yourself, please go ahead and um, contact me on any one of my platforms. I am always live on TikTok if you guys want to see me on TikTok. And um, definitely you can also just comment here and let me know that you would like um, to get a um, custom made hat. So you guys, I hope this tip helps. Like I'm trying to show you right here, I'm continuing crocheting around my loose ends. So instead of me going back and weaving in my loose ends, I am already crocheting it in to my project so it'll hide itself. I'm just crocheting around my project. So if you guys can see the loose ends right there, keeping the loose end in the center and I am going on to crocheting around my project 
If you would like more tips and tricks on how to make a ruffle hat or what they will call um, a shell hat. I'm not sure why they call it shell. It doesn't look like a shell. But if you're a mermaid and that's what you like seeing, if you're a beach baby like me, call it a shell hat if you like. But you guys see that? Now it's no longer showing. I have um, crocheted around my project and you can't see it. You can't see it. It's not, it's not showing anywhere. So I don't have to go back and weave that in. It is already hidden. It's already hidden. The only thing I got to worry about is once I get to the end of my project, I would have to go back and weave that in. And we're coming up to the end right now. This hat is complete and ready for sale. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. This is our last stitch, y'all. And at the end, to close your project, you slip stitch. You see I got the mannequin under there? You slip stitch and you pull your project out. Okay, guys, so that's it for this one. And just to show you how it looks, 